is right now and how it's unfolding before us. I'm going to put them all face down but show them to the camera. So let's see what we have. The highest and greatest good. Everybody involved. I just hear them. I have no idea where the fireworks are. To me, it sounds like they're all over. At the bottom of the deck is the Knight of Rods, so pure male energy penetrating forward with his desires, with his passions, with focused ambition, drive, and stamina. Um, he has his like golden armor on, his cape of red passion, and I want to say protection. Take that as you will. He's riding his horse and he's moving forward somewhere passionately. Somewhere that sparks his heart, sparks his soul, sparks his desire and pushes his journey somewhere passionately to have an experience. There's also a dragon on the top of his helmet, a golden dragon. Um, I was just reading a little bit of my sister's Chinese Zodiac book, so perhaps the metal dragon means something to somebody out there, or the metal, the metal element within your um, Chinese Zodiac sign. Maybe that's helpful. Let's move on. I don't know what any of these are here, so let's see. So in the I am position, we have the Hierophant. Over um, the energy on top, so the energy covering, the energy overflowing around the Hierophant is the Ace of Cups. So I think of marriage first because, I mean, this looks like a priest and twins or two halves of the same, um, agreeing to something, agreeing to the same rules, agreeing to the same journey, agreeing to something in unison and harmony together to establish some kind of structure that perhaps is for a brand new beginning in love. Even if you're married, guys, even if you're already married, even if you're already with somebody, this can be an agreement to have a brand new start in agreement to make your own rules on what is good and what is not good for you and your relationship. This is coming together, cup overflowing into a new beginning, a new start, a new chapter, a new journey. Something is overflowing in abundance and beauty. Let's see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull the whole thing. I'm gonna pull the whole thing here and see more of the story before I get carried away with one or two cards, because I can do that. Okay, so I use the position that's above the I am position in the um, 
Celtic cross to represent the spiritual plane and then the physical plane would be the card underneath so you can also look at that as your um, higher conscious and um, under the surface the subconscious all right so higher conscious is the world dancing your song for the world to see brand new beginnings support and stability around you in everything that you do you are protected by spirit you're um, connected to spirit dancing your song in the center of this wreath of glory wreath of protection wreath I want to say like little um, uterus of who you are your being your I am perhaps this is exposing your I am for the world to see if there's somebody out there thinking of something like starting a YouTube channel starting a blog starting something where you're exposing yourself exposing your music maybe there's musicians out there perhaps this is just a little symbol to show you that there is a new chapter there is a new start a new beginning and a new opening coming through for you so all four corners of the world of the universe can see you for the light and beauty and um, child of God that you are see I got carried away on the one card and I pulled nothing else let's just pull the cards all right so in the subconscious in the earth part you have the king of swords all right so in the past position you have the page of rods in the future position so what you're moving into there's the knight of swords okay so in the how you feel position so I look at this position as a little more of your um, consciousness involved in the how I am feeling in the I am where it's the I am position is the inner quality so this is like the outside as mask as well as how you feel about that and that's the Knight of Pentacles so we have two Knights three Knights the Knight of Swords the Knight of Pentacles the Knight of Rods the Page of Rods the King of Swords this is a lot of people guys the Sun how others see you your environment is the Sun is out even if the Sun's not out the Sun is out the world is looking at your true beauty here allow your beauty to shine allow yourself to be exposed for your truth for your inner light let others see you ride naked on your horse like a baby being exactly who you are being exactly like you were when you were a kid perhaps that's what the world needs to see um, next card is the four of rods this came up earlier in the reading that I did in the middle of the creek on the rock so the four of rods in this one it's a little more of a wedding card a little more of a celebration um, the fireworks exploding all the work that was put into something that is experienced with passion um, with more than one person maybe this is a wedding guys if somebody is getting married today mwah, blessings to you congratulations I love you guys if you're getting married soon um, there's a lot of moving forward and truth and opportunity so far in this relationship if this is a relationship for whoever's watching this um, this is a celebration this is uh, having a lot of work and effort put into something that comes together and explodes in abundant joy and passion together so experience that moment that's the position of the hopes and the wishes so that the wishes are for this perhaps marriage to come about maybe that's not now maybe that's a future thing the outcome is the Queen of Swords that is a lot of people all right so we have 
the Queen of Swords. The first thing I wanted to say is perhaps all of these knights and king, I want to say the knights are moving forward. Perhaps they are waiting for the clarity of mind that the king of swords has, the focus that he has. She has this too. This is a couple. This could also be an air sign couple, so... Uh, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. Um, and then you have the knight. So, moving forward with focus, but having such stability already in knowing your map, in knowing your journey, in knowing where you're going, that now you are ready to move forward. Or perhaps you are the queen of swords. You're the woman in the situation and she's not moving. This outcome, by the way, in this, in this card, she is the come hither girl. I mean, she's sitting there and she's like, you're almost nervous to do it. And yet you can't help but move towards her. It's like she controls the winds. And the waves, the waves and the winds, the rushing of the winds, the rushing of the changing perceptions of your mind, I want to say. But he's rushing towards something. Perhaps it's towards his queen. Perhaps he's connected to the spirit. You know, he has roots of stability in the trees. And there's an eagle. So I think of freedom seeing the picture clearly, having direct focus, and connecting to spirit because of the birds. So in the past, perhaps you had something like this, this little call, this little birdie, this text, this video, this email, this something that came along that sparked a little sunshine in your life, sparked something going, something in your life that like, Put the fuel in your being or this night. This is a night in your life if you're a girl. Expect a night to be coming soon to something. As long as you're being yourself, beaming yourself. Understand who your inner nature is driving you to be as an adult. Like the baby you knew who the adult you should be. And Sometimes we get lost along the way and think we're meant to be something else and not who we actually are. Um, this Knight of Pentacles is in the U position. I'm going to have to chop a little bit off at the beginning and let's um, come back around to this last night. Before he moves, he takes his time, he makes plans, he packs his things, he writes his poems, he gets into the experience and he prays about the experience before his journey. So his connection to earth is there. His connection to spirit is there. And he's ready to dig his hands into something that is um, always going to bring him his goal in the end. He always gets his goal in the end, even if he comes along some bumps along the way in his journey. Did that make sense? I think it did. Um, he learns from his mistakes and he continues forward. Also an earth sign. So Vir uh, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. But then you have fire, so don't forget the fire signs. We got a knight and we got a page of fire. So fire, air, earth. Fire signs for also um, Virgo, I mean uh, Leo. Sagittarius and Aries. So, a brand new opportunity, perhaps with the same uh, pure intent. And I want to say rules within the relationship or whatever this is comes together after some news 